I'm on a path um, to be hopefully like one of the best artists out there. Like that's the frame of mind I have to keep. But it's really, it's difficult to make it in the art business. And I mean, I just keep drawing, trying to make my work better than the last piece just for like, I mean, the credit I get, like that's what keeps me going. Like when I can get someone to be like, wow, you made that. And I'm, yeah, <laughs> I did. Took me a few hours, but I love it. And the process is tedious. It's like during drawing, it's not something that I really enjoy, but I enjoy the anticipation of what it'll be when it's finished. And uh, yeah, I really haven't planned anything out for my future. You know, it's really the goal in my life now is just to find like, a stable level where I'm not like shaking, but I can just. I'm looking for something that I was able to experience years ago, like just the feeling of pure, just joy to be with friends like around a bonfire. I haven't felt that in a while. <sighs> College is one of my big motivators, but like, I mean, I know it's really pricey and the thing is I, I want to, I want to travel before college, but I don't. I don't know where to start with that either, but I have a feeling once I get into college, I'm gonna be so like crowded with work that it'll be almost impossible for me to get out there. I don't know, seeing my, um, my parents' life path, my dad never went to college, he dropped out early. My mom got her GED as well, but went to community college, first person in her family too. I mean, it's intense seeing like, my parents definitely hadn't really made their dreams but like my mom's doing pretty good has a nice house family but she just comes home stressed every night and it's not it's not how I want to live like I already got too much of that and I really need to be one of those wild men that just go crazy and travel the world and yeah <laughs> I definitely think my my greatest talent is drawing. Um, I feel I'm, I'm like scared to think about what I what I would be right now if I didn't discover drawing. If it didn't just happen to be something that I just did in my free time, like just as like I didn't think anything of it, and then it just accumulated as something really intense. I mean, I'm okay at skateboarding. I have like hobbies that I always want to improve but really I can't say there's anything that I'm like the best at except art and there's everyone's like the best of their own style but I'm hoping that I bring something new to the table that people can really just gawk at. I like to be thought of as the artist the, the, like the art guy hopefully the smart guy but I I can't always um I feel like I live my life too selfishly, and I think everyone does. But, you know, there's a level of selfishness that we need to have if we want to make it anywhere in life. I do this thing sometimes where, like, when people compliment me on my artwork and they're like, well, I would love one of those. It's like instinctual for me to be like, oh yeah, I would love to make you one. I'll make you one, like, no problem. Next thing I know, I have 30 people who I told I'd make them drawings. Um, but I'm still making no money whatsoever and in a capitalist society I can't get paid with compliments um, as much as I love just seeing someone smile like from my artwork I'm always just working to make new stuff to make people smile because you know it, the feeling runs out like all my drawings they get old they get boring to look at I'm always trying to draw something more complex that you have to look at longer. The thing is, if money wasn't like a thing that tied directly into my happiness, people say money doesn't make happiness, but they've showed that in a capitalist society, about $75,000 a year is happiness. Like Any more than that, it won't make you any more happy because people, people always want more always and if you get too much then you're just gonna be 
you're just gonna be sad and you're gonna it's gonna be harder to find something more like like what do you do once you like it's like I don't know what more I could have it just scares me that someday everything I make and everything that I've created it's gonna be gone it's gonna be it doesn't make sense to me though that I'm here now and you know that's when I lose motivation but really like I'm here now take it for what it is and make the best of it live I die and this is my choice in between I really want to be famous I know that's kind of like like who doesn't want to be famous but I don't want to be like celebrity famous like that stuff that just annoys me I want to be known like hopefully as an influential person hopefully like I just want to change the world but uh, something to like expel my insignificance like from the world like I, I just hate being like an extra in everyone's show like uh, there's this word sonder it's a uh, it's the idea that other people are living their own lives with their own problems, their own struggles. And you might just pop up as a guy that's getting angry about his coffee, like in front of you in line, but you know, I want to be so much more than that. And the only way is to get my artwork out there and hopefully show people that I'm something unique. But it's weird, I want to do it for everyone else. Like, I feel like everything I do, it's it's selfish. Like I can't help but being selfish. Like it's selfish that I want them to be happy, but like I want them to be happy because it would make me happy. <laughs> like I mean, there's a different kind of selfish, and that's the kind of selfish I want to be. <laughs> I always like to draw like little cartoon faces and stuff. I just I thought it was such a cool idea that I could just change the slightest feature of a face and have a whole different expression, even with like simple like few lines and you can just make a whole face like ever since I was little like really little I would look out my window as I was going to bed or whenever just at the trees and just make weird really abstract faces and shapes like it looks like a work of art but I'm just creating it with my brain and it's like just knowing that I can make that means I can make anything I drew this cartoon picture of Van Gogh in sixth grade like one eye was big, one eye was tiny, but it, it was supposed to be like abstract. Like I kind of liked it. It was like pop art. Like I added color to it. I showed my brother. I was so psyched. I finally made something that I could like just appreciate. And he's like, "Oh yeah, it's cool, but like the eyes don't look realistic. It was like, it's cartoon." <laughs> but like, um, but uh, something about like bro brotherly criticism kept me going. Like I. I could stop, I'm like, oh, you don't like that? I'm gonna make you like it, man. <laughs> like, so I practiced drawing eyes just from YouTube, <laughs> of course, um, for a few hours, just drawing this one eye, and it finally came out with something. I was like, wow, that actually looks pretty decent. You just have to stop getting in one-track mind situations. Like, we only have one thought at a time. I mean, there's sub subliminal, thoughts like the subconscious but when really we can't like just look in a mirror and say wow I'm beautiful or I have this awesome quality about me we need to do that more often because you know we just focus on the bad because it hits way harder <laughs>